All right, Six Flags Great America, trip number 21 of the 2014 season came on Wednesday, August 20th, 2014. So, we racked up, or I racked out with um, Rachel and Spencer for the entire day, and um, we started off again to the park at about 9.30. We used the Washington Street entrance this time instead of the Grand Avenue entrance, and we were, like, the fourth car in. Um, so, it was a little late for them opening up the gates, or the security scanners this time. They didn't open them up till 10. They usually open them up a few minutes earlier and then move everyone to the ticket scanners and then scan the tickets then at 10 or something. So... Anyways, we got into the park at about 10.05. Here's some pictures of um, some employees were landscaping in front of the carousel while we were entering. But um, to pass some of the time, we decided to go in carousel gifts and just look around until rope drop. We didn't go to Goliath first. Um, here's a picture of Spencer holding up a kid size I rode the Little Dipper. Uh, we just took the picture for laughs, and, um, yep, not too long until we'll be back in the pictorium, but anyways, um, we started off our day, we headed to Raging Bull, we were the first train of the day, and following Raging Bull, we decided to head over to Giant Drop. Now, in my last video, I said that, uh, Spacely Sparkle Rockets was my 300th ride of the, of the year. Turns out that Goliath, which was our third ride of the day, was my 300th ride of the year. I miscalculated on my last trip. So, Goliath was my 300th ride of the year, and then we headed over to Spacely Sprocket Rockets. Uh, following that, we headed over to Logger's Run, no line. So, we did that, and then over to V2. And let me say, this was probably the worst headbanging experience I had on V2 ever. But after that, we went over to, um, we went over to, I believe it was JB's Barbecue, and we went to eat, um, we went to eat some lunch. I had pulled pork, and Rachel and Spencer had some of the JB's wings, and then we followed over to, um, X-Flight to do the left side. After X-Flight, we waited around a little bit, and we then did Goliath again, and then we um, decided to look through some of the shops and then head over to Roaring Rapids, where um, I didn't get as soaked as I thought I would be, which is pretty much a good thing for the most part. And then we would head over to Rooley Dodge. Uh, after Rooley Dodge, we would... We decided to just um, hang around in the uh, Pirates Alley Arcade for a little bit until it was time to ride uh, Superman Ultimate Flight. Then we headed over there, and then we went over to the Go Fresh Cafe as well as the Coolin' Room to cool off, drink a little, a little bit of soda and stuff like that. And then we were going to head over to um, Dark Knight, but Dark Knight was down. So we headed over to Wizard, but then we decided to skip Wizard and we did Viper instead. At that point, we just decided to walk around the park, and at about 4 o'clock, we ran into uh, Joey. So, um, actually, we hit up Wizard before we went. Wait, never mind. We met up with Joey. And uh, Joey was waiting to, until his dining pass was valid, and then he was going to eat. So Rachel and Spencer walked around the park a little bit, and I hung out with Joey. Shortly after, we met up with Matt, and then um, near Buccaneer, Buccaneer Battle, and then we headed over to Mardi Gras to meet back up with Rachel and Spencer. And um, that's when we saw Eric. And um, we hung out with them. Uh, they... Matt went to go get something to eat, so Rachel Spencer and I quickly hit a ride on Wizard, and then uh, we headed over, just walked around the park with them. 
um, looking at some of the lines, seeing how they were, and then I we decided uh, we were going to get in line for Giant Drop, and this is where some of these awkward photos are coming into play. Um, the ones you just saw of Rachel and Joey. And uh, here's one of Matt. Matt, what are you doing in this photo? That's why, that's why I was asking the whole time. Um, we gave up on line for Giant Drop because Joey and Matt wanted to get the last be the last people in line for uh, Goliath. So Rachel, Spencer, and I did American Eagle Blue Side, and then I was able to do a really quick, really, really quick speed walk over to Goliath and use one of the exit passes that I was given from the canceled Midnight Premiere event. Oh, this picture, I did not edit it at all. It's just, I just pointed it, quickly shot it, and then, yeah. I thought it turned out pretty epic. Uh, so I got the last, I got in um, to Goliath right before they closed the gates. Um, just a few seconds before they closed the gate off with the exit pass. And I was able to get one more ride on Goliath that day for a total of three rides on Goliath. So I ended this trip with a total of 15 rides. We hung, I hung out with Rachel, Spencer, Matt, Joey, and Eric. Um, my... 2014 season total rides is up to 311, and I think my next trip will be Labor Day weekend, so shortly after Six Flags announces what's new for 2015. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. It really means a lot, um, and stay tuned. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.